some school project updates uh, up until now I was able to create like some layout simple layout for login register main uh, page and uh, the you know interface page when you log into the app uh, but as for now I can show you what it, it is doing so you go to logging and yeah, you have like a username, let's say Anna. Th this user exists, so it will should show the invalid password because I'm not typing the password, re password which is in the database. So yeah, and what is to do is that like for all the errors that I have, I just uh, return a JSON with the error message, but I should reroute to like the same login page and show the error somewhere in the interface saying, oh, sorry, like, uh, the password is not valid. One day, I realized I wanted to finish the programming school I had started, to close this milestone. Even though I have over two years of professional experience as a software engineer, I found myself rarely going beyond my responsibilities at work. I want to grow professionally, improve my skills. I want to learn how to develop projects from scratch. That's something I lack at my job. When you join a company, the solid foundation is already laid out. Practicing coding after a full day of work where you've already been coding most of the time is incredibly challenging, at least for me. For a long time, I struggled to find the motivation to work on my own side projects. The idea of getting my diploma came to me just at the right time. There is a clear, tangible result in pursuing it. The school projects have a defined scope, specific subjects and deadlines, and so here we are. Slowly but surely, I started working on my first project after a long break I had. Right, vlogging times. We are in the fucking. <laughs> we are in the terrace, and someone. Uh, yeah, I will show you. There are um, like yeah, like this. You you see like it's door window doors, and normally we entered and we left them open, but someone <laughs> didn't check that there was someone on the terrace, and they closed us, so we are stuck. <laughs> uh, luckily, we have some coffee. This is my friend Marsha who's also a software engineer. We motivate each other to do more than just our regular work tasks. We decided to meet up every Saturday or Sunday to spend time together and be productive. While I work on my school projects, Masha goes through workshops, read tech articles, and works on other things. Having a coding buddy is an extra motivation to dedicate one of my days off to studying. When you're not doing it alone, it's so much more fun. And we have a beautiful view, uh -huh. but uh, tell, yeah. tell me how Someone is very pissed because it's second time this week. Second time this week, someone closes his fucking door <laughs> and closes me at the terrace. Yeah, but luckily we had, we, she had a number of uh, security guys and they will, uh, they're coming so, so, to save us. Yes, yeah, <laughs> they're coming to rescue us. This open the door uh, and honestly we didn't wait for long like we had this idea quite quickly maybe 10 minutes five five minutes And 
like all of the register logic. If you're interested, I'm just I can go to like your already exists, so it shouldn't be able to register me. Or your your exists. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, the password. If the password doesn't match, so it will check it. Yeah, user with ah user with HTML exists. So it, the check of the user existence is first one. Okay, let's say something like that so it will check the the password will not match or first of all i think it's the check for the password should be longer than seven uh symbols ah shit <laughs> okay first was the email check let's see like this uh, enter your password they will not match uh yeah at least six characters and if we go like one two three okay and then something like this uh passwords do not match but if i let me just type one two three four five six six times one one two three four five six yeah so you see like I'm just returning <laughs> the password, username, and email. Uh, in the database, I'm hashing passwords, so I'm not keeping them. If I can go, yes, yeah, select all from users, you can see that I'm hashing, and this is the in my to-do. I have a to-do bcrypt because I'm using the bcrypt library, but yeah, the thing is that we need to, oops. <laughs> We need to create everything from scratch. So all of the the reason why I'm just like returning a plain JSON instead of re-rendering the page and uh, show the error message, it's because when you're doing it without any live recent frameworks, it's it's not that easy. And yeah, I just that that is in my to do list that I do need to reroute the the pages and displaying the error messages correctly um yeah and, and implement the bcrypt library because this is a library and we cannot use anything which is not included in the standard php library and i think something like bcrypt doesn't exist there but we'll see like i i think there is like a hashing algorithm which must be in the standard library uh, yeah so it takes more time than um, planned but I really like the process. I like that it. I'm slow and I take my time to, you know, make it all good. And uh, I'm just enjoying the process. Some very useful advice for those who are doing projects during their free time and don't have so much free time in the end. So because basically I yeah, working on this project only one day at the weekend so every week and it's easy to forget uh, for example today it took me like around 10-15 minutes to have a look of all the project structure and i forgot what i should do basically what have i implemented so that's why i created this to do file which i showed you because thus you come up to the project next week and you see okay like rerouting doesn't work, so I need to to implement this, or like uh, I need to refactor routing because basically what my server does is just a plenty of f <laughs> if else if thing. You see, like for all of the HTTP request responses that I'm using, and there are some things that I was just testing, playing with. Um. Yeah, so let me know if such uh, videos um, are useful for you and I uh, will be more excited to show you the progress and maybe the, the final project if you if you're interested in. So please comment and share what you do as a side project or as a school project and your struggles and uh, some maybe some insights, advice for, for other people. Let's create sort of a supportive community in the comments. Ciao, bisou!
Do-do-do-do. 